I've said this before, that many of the problems that we see in families, when I go through counseling, and individuals could be solved if only people fasted and prayed more, decisions would be easier for you. You wouldn't have to go around and try to get everybody's opinion because you, you were in tune to what Yahweh's will is for your life. We were talking about this last night during our, uh, uh, our, our evening meal and how like we could, we could eliminate counseling if people would just follow the Torah. If people would just let the flesh, get the flesh to submit to the spirit and stop letting the flesh rule, we could eliminate counseling groups and counseling ministry and psychology, psychiatry. We could eliminate it. Because everything that people deal with in marriages and in families and relationships are all here in the Torah. And if, we, if we're going to have a hard time understanding Torah and following Torah, you're certainly going to have a hard time walking in the Spirit. Looking at Luke chapter 5, going to verse 33, it says, But they said to him, watch this, John's disciples often fast and offer prayers. This is so good. This is the Pharisees coming to them because we see this, as do the disciples of the Pharisee. But your disciples are eating and drinking. Now note, if you would, that you can pray without fasting, but you can never fast without prayer. Not true, not true fasting. All right? Here they're trying to trap Yeshua. See, they were accustomed to fasting so others could see them. But notice what Yeshua says. Messiah doesn't come in and say, yeah, you're right, they don't need to fast. 